It was almost three years ago when my daughter surprised me with an amazing gift. She bought us both tickets on the spirit of Tasmania. We'd never been to Tasmania, so we were both equally as excited. This was going to be a 10-day tour of Tasmania. We took her car along with us on the spirit of Tasmania. So that was amazing because we arrived there and we had our own transport. And we really enjoyed every part of the adventure. But one of those was a real highlight for me. We went to the top of Mount Wellington. It was amazing. I had heard about the Northern Lights, the Southern Lights, but never ever dreamed that I would experience them. And so one evening we went to the top of Mount Wellington and we actually got to experience and see those Southern Lights. It was truly amazing. I, I actually just smile when I think back of that very evening. It was freezing cold, but sitting up there on that mountain and seeing those lights was unbelievable. I didn't even remember hearing the hustle and bustle of all the people around us. I just remember sitting there and experiencing that total peace and tranquility, that moment that I just won't ever forget. For me, that very moment was like a taste of heaven. And it's moments like these that allow us to truly appreciate the victory that Christ had at the cross. If you have your Bibles, if you could please open your Bible with me, I'm going to the book of Colossians. And it's chapter 1 verses 19 and 20. So that's Colossians 1, 19 and 20. And it reads, For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. See, God already had a plan, a much greater plan than any of us could ever have thought of. And that plan involved the sacrifice of his own son. So that through his blood, we could be reconciled once again with him. The second Bible verse that I would like to share with you is Romans chapter 5 verses 8 to 10. If you could turn with me to Romans chapter 5 verses 8 to 10 and it reads, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now I'd like to just pause there for a moment. While we were still sinners, there was nothing that we could do Nothing that could change the fact that we were sinners. But Christ made that sacrifice. And this was all part of God's greater plan. So let's continue now to verses 9 and 10, which reads, Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if when we were God's enemies, we were rec reconciled to him through, through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? You see, God's very love that he has shown us and revealed through the death of his son on the cross is something that we do not deserve because we have been sinners. But God's gracious love took on that very initiative to save us, to save us people from all the sin. And that is the sin that we have had in our lives. That's our current sin and that's our future sin. Jesus Christ himself has won the victory 
at the cross. He has overcome sin directly at the cross. And he chose his son. He made that choice for him to be able to actually save us. And so today I would like to encourage you, I would like to urge you to spend time getting to know this man Jesus through the word who won the victory at the cross for each and every one of us today. Hi, thank you so much for watching the video today. If these videos are drawing you closer to God, please give us a good old like or add a comment and subscribe. Our prayer for you is that you will continue to draw closer to God.